Hi everybody, happy Monday. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. It's been a really long time. So I'm um, super happy to be back with you guys, ready to get to sewing again, and it's just gonna be a really fun um, couple of months making up um, this new Country Daisies quilt with you. So it's just been so long, I've missed you guys. <laughs> I hope that you guys had a nice holiday. Um, we had a great time. My family, my kids were all here. My sister and her husband were here and my parents have, have moved here. So we had a huge fun holiday season um, with just tons of family time. It was so great. Very, very needed. Um, and then as soon as everybody left, Doug, uh, my husband and I promptly got COVID. <laughs> so we were out like the month of January. It was not my favorite thing at all, but um, happy to be all past that now <laughs> and back to sewing again with you guys. So i um, really excited to uh, see who's here today. Um, and we have a, um, a bit of a new setup. So if anything's funky, or different let me know um, but new mic new cameras we're gonna just like take it all up a notch this so along so it's gonna be really fun um, so let's see who's here over on Facebook Dawn's here hey I'm happy to be back too glad you're here Dawn and Allison thanks Wendy's here Carrie's here yay we're all together again <laughs> Aw, Carrie you're the best Christine's here and Marcia's here and over on YouTube Helen's here and she said that um, if you guys missed me oh I love you guys this is the best <laughs> Christine is also oh, different Christine over on YouTube Leslie's here Lisa Helen oh picture and sound is wonderfully crisp awesome Helen thank you that's very great <laughs> I'm so glad. I really wanted to um, tweak some things because I felt like we had a good system set up, but not a great system with our last sew along. So we're going to try some new things this time and um, there might be some bugs, <laughs> hopefully not too many as we work them out, but um, it's going to be really fun. I'm excited. Oh, Janice is here from Nova Scotia. Welcome back, Janice. Missed you too. Oh, yay. This is so fun, you guys. So... January was kind of a quiet month for me because as I said, I got sick and so I had to push our soul along back a little bit. I really appreciate you guys being flexible with the kickoff of this. Um, so let me kind of show you here. Obviously behind me, this is not the quilt we're sewing up and this is again part of the confessional with Bev. Um, I got sick and the holidays were crazy and so I haven't actually, I've tested this entire quilt, made up all the blocks, of course, everything. Is 100% made but it's not made up in Daisy Fields so we're gonna sew this up together <laughs> and so that's why the quilt behind me is not the quilt we are doing for our sew along we are doing the country daisies quilt behind me is the garden terrace quilt along with some of my mini quilts so um, that's why if it looks funky and you think maybe you're in the wrong place you're not in the wrong place we are going to make the country daisies quilt so let me show you our schedule. So here's a little bit better image of our quilt that we're going to be making. This is the Country Daisies quilt. It has a sampler vibe in that there are several different blocks. And I really love, I, you guys know I love a square quilt. You can just do some really pretty images and things with the square design. So that's what we have here. So there are five different blocks. You're gonna make multiples of those, but there are five different styles of block. And so we are going to each week do a different style of block. And so you might have to make, you know, four that week. You might have to make, there's one block that there's eight of, but it's one of the easiest blocks to do. So um, 
it will go really fast. And then we're gonna talk about assembly and borders and all of that kind of stuff. So, and also on this image are the hashtags for the quilt if you are sharing on Instagram. If you're sharing photos in our Facebook group or on Facebook, you don't really need to use the hashtag. I don't think Facebook really cares much about hashtags. It changes week to week, but right now I don't think they care. So if you're sharing on Instagram, please use the hashtag so we can all see your progress and all of your pretty fabrics. So this quilt is made up in my Daisy Fields fabric that came out last fall. I think it was in August, was it August? And we did the Daisy Day quilt sew along. That was a fast sew along, and that was the bees and um, flowers quilt. If you didn't join in with that, you still can make that quilt up. All those videos are both in the Facebook group and on YouTube. They're a little bit easier to find on YouTube because they're everything on YouTube's organized into playlists by sew along. So all you have to do is go to the playlist section on YouTube of my channel and you'll be able to find any of the older sew alongs we've done. And that's where all the videos for this quilt along will live as well. So it'd be easy to find, even if you're not like right on target, that's totally okay. So I have linked to the quilt pattern in the video description today. You do have to purchase the pattern to sew along, but each week I will be sewing the block together with tips on how to put it together and just a visual of how to assemble the block. Sometimes it just makes things go a little bit more smoothly if you see somebody sew it together, if that makes sense, right? So I feel that way anyway. <laughs> just sometimes a visual is helpful. So um, all the instructions are in the pattern booklet, so you will need that. That's available in PDF and paper forms. Those are linked in the video description. And I also have a page on my blog where I've listed shops carrying Daisy Fields fabrics and quilt kits. Now some of those, those came out in August, like I said, so some of those shops don't have the kits still. But I know I saw um, at least a couple shops that had the Country Daisies quilt kit still, if you wanna make it up exactly like mine. Or if you don't want to and you want to use fabrics from your stash or a different collection, please feel free to join in regardless of what fabrics you're sewing. Uh, of course, we love you more if you're sewing with Daisy Fields. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we absolutely don't. We love everyone the same. Um, so feel free to sew with whatever you would like. But if you want to sew it up as shown, then um, I will be talking in the video each week about which fabrics to use and also um, showing it in Daisy Fields Fabrics, but we are welcome to sew along with whatever you would like. Oh, Dawn said she just finished the Daisy A Day quilt top. Uh, she posted a photo in the Facebook group, so if you guys haven't been in our Facebook group lately, check that out. Hers turned out really beautiful, so. Hi, Pam, happy to see you too. Or, see, I guess I can't see you, Pam. <laughs> Mary Beth loves the quilt. Yay, I'm so glad. <laughs> Oh, Judy says she got COVID after visiting in North Carolina. I think there was a lot of that going around around after traveling and things like that. We didn't travel and our family was here for two weeks and we didn't get it till after everybody left. So it was like this really random thing. I have no idea what happened, but anyway, it's not the end of the world. So let's talk a little bit before we talk about what you'll need for the quilt and before we have our giveaway, I want to update you guys with a few things going on in the shop and also on my blog because it's been a little bit since we've chatted. So let's do this. Oh, look, now you can see. <laughs> okay, so we have a few things that are new in the shop. Um, one of them, I'm gonna just take this over here and get myself a little tidy here. Okay, Carrie says we should join up and go to the quilt retreat with Bev in Texas. Carrie, I'm loving that idea. I have not um, linked to that today, but I will tell you guys, I'm gonna do a blog post about that retreat. I did share about it in my um, newsletter on Saturday. I'm doing a quilt retreat with uh, Stitch in Heaven at their retreat center in August. We're gonna make up the Meadowland quilt, which is, um, there is a, um, 
new fabric collection coming out in March called Sweet Acres. That's my new collection, my next one. And so my Sweet Acres Meadowland quilt is releasing at the same time. We will be doing a sew along with that quilt in our groups um, that kicks off at the end of April. But if you want to hold off and sew it in person with me, I will be <laughs> teaching the quilt as a retreat in August. So I'll have more information about that for you next week or you can go to the Stitch in Heaven website if you absolutely don't want to wait um, and check it out now. <laughs> I'm not sure the numbers on that as far as how many, I don't know off the top of my head, how many people are going to be, um, how many people are able to go to the retreat. So I'll check that out for you as well. But if it's something you're interested in, definitely don't wait because I don't think it's a huge number of people. So I don't know how fast it'll sell out, but definitely check it out. It's going to be so fun. I haven't ever been to their retreat center before, um, but I'm really looking forward to it. We'll be in, I guess they had an existing retreat center and then they built just now like, or finishing up a new fancier retreat center. So we'll be in the new retreat center and I'm really excited about it. I think it's four days, five days, four nights. Um, so that would be a lot of um, time to hang out. I would love it. <laughs> okay, so new in my shop is are these really cute little um, camper pens. So if you guys have seen, I had um, quilt cat pins, cat head pins that were out a couple years ago and those are um, not available. Well, I have a few in my shop left, but once those are gone, they won't be available anymore. But to replace them in the cuteness department, I have these darling new camper pins. So even the packaging is cute. I love the way that Riley Blake does the packaging on these. They are um, little aqua campers. I don't know if I can get close enough there that you guys can see and it'll zoom. I need to adjust my zooming a little bit. Um, but they're little aqua campers. They're the same size pins as the um, cat pins and um, super sturdy and really strong and they work great. I have been using them, well I use them when I quilt of course, but I've also been using them on my long arm to attach my quilts to my leaders because they're so sturdy. They work really well with holding the quilt to the leaders. So these are in my shop. I think I forgot to link to them on, um, on uh, the video description today. I'll go back and add that in later, but if you just go to my shop, which is linked down at the bottom of the video description, they're on the homepage, so you can find them easily. So camper pins are new, and I also have a new pattern to show you guys. This is the Sweet Spring Row Quilt. This is a really fun row quilt that I designed for a different fabric collection. The fabric collection is called Springtime and it's by a uh, company called My Mind's Eye and I designed this pattern for them and it is so fun. Um, it's got some flowers and then of course little bunnies and carrots, um, some eggs and there's a little broken egg. You can hardly see, I don't think it's um, quite bright enough here today, but um, a little um, chick there, and then some pinwheels, tulips, hearts, and of course a butterfly. So I had to um, add all of the fun spring elements. This is linked in the video description today, so you can check that out. I have this in PDF and paper versions, and if you're interested in sewing up this quilt exactly as shown with the um, this pretty springtime fabric, this is in a boxed kit. So it comes in a really pretty box, and um, it has this image on the top and then of course everything that you need to make the quilt except for like backing and batting of course. I'm pretty sure there's binding in there but don't quote me on that. Oh Pam says she got her row quilt kit today. She's gonna make it for her new granddaughter. Oh yay Pam! That's awesome! Yay! Okay so I don't have those in my shop um, but you can check your favorite local quilt shop or online shop for the Sweet Spring Row Quilt Kit. So check that out, it's a really fun one. And, or you can check my shop for the patterns. Okay, so in, um, so at the same time as we're doing this sew along, I am going to be hosting a second sew along during the week for my Walking on Sunshine mini quilt. I'm gonna switch back here. So it'll be a little bit easier to see. This is the mini quilt we are sewing up. <laughs> 
So you can kind of see here, I'll come back a little bit. There you can see me and it. <laughs> so this is the mini quilt that we are going to be making. And it's a really fun one. If you have never done curves before, this is, I highly encourage you to join in because this is a really easy block to make. So this is a quilt, mini quilt from my Make It Mini book that is available now. Um, I don't know, some of you might not have heard um, the publisher that I published that book with, Martingale, is now going out of business. And we're all very sad in the quilting community um, because they were a really great publisher to work with. Just a huge resource of quilting books. Um, so. That being said, I have plenty of copies. I bought up a ton of copies of Make It Mini, so I have those. I believe you can still get a digital copy of the book from Martingale, and um, eventually in the next couple weeks or so, I will have PDF copies of it as well. But the best thing to do right now is to go ahead and just buy the paper, the actual physical copy of the book. Um, I have those in my shop, you can check it out. And make this along with us. And it's, this is a sweet little curved block on all these blocks. This is the same block all over the mini quilt, just turn different directions. And then I've added a fun little wreath detail in the center. So we're going to start this on Wednesday. Our, our mini quilt sew along will be held in the evenings, um, 7 p.m. Central Time. And I'll show you our schedule for that. So here is the schedule for the Walking on Sunshine. We'll start um, this Wednesday, and then we will sew the blocks together because on this mini quilt, the embroidery is done after the top is sewn together. So we're gonna talk about the blocks, um, and we're gonna do one block on the 15th, and then we're gonna do our assembly the following week on the 22nd. And then on March 1st, we will do the embroidery stitches. There are three stitches on this. And then we will talk the last week about quilting on top of embroidery. So this one is a, um, let's see. This one is a much faster quilt to do. Um, it won't take us very long at all. You can see with the, um, the different blocks that it is quick. And the embroidery on this one is very simple as well. There's a back stitch as the foundation of the wreath, and then there are little satin stitches and French knots. And so we're gonna go over all those stitches and kind of how to transfer and center all that. And it'll be kind of quick details on all those stitches. I do have full details, uh, full videos for every, of, every embroidery stitch that I use on YouTube. You can check that all out in my embroidery basics playlist. <laughs> So that's what we're gonna do together. So you're welcome to join in um, with both of these or just one of them. And I won't talk about this so long every week on Mondays, but because we are kicking this off this week, I wanted to make sure that you guys realized that it was happening. Um, Wendy's correct, Dawn. It is uh, going to kick off this Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central. So yay, all right. So, and then the other thing going on on the blog right now is the Riley Blake Designs Block Challenge. And that is the free sew along hosted by Riley Blake. And it is made up of 16 blocks and they are designed by different Riley Blake Designs designers. <laughs> That's a lot of designs. <laughs> so we have had four weeks. Um, last Tuesday was a bye week and then we have a new block coming out on Monday. No, tomorrow. <laughs> I'll get back into the swing of this whole video thing here soon. But I wanted to show you my four blocks that we've done so far. I am making all of my blocks up in Dainty Daisy. I'm not using all the colors. Um, Dainty Daisy is my basic through Riley Blake Designs and it is just a really simple um, little like scattery, almost scatter dot print with little daisies throughout it. So, and it comes in 12 colors right now, and I am using the um, kind of more pastel-y colors. I'm not using the black, except I am gonna use that for binding because I think that will really pop around the whole block. And I'm not using the gray or the orange, but I'm using like yellow, this kind of lipstick color. This shows really a lot of the colors that I'm using, and then the navy and the blue 
and then pink and then this kind of reddish color so I think these blocks are turning out really good and then for my background um, I'm using um, my the fabric that I designed for Hush Hush 2 which was Riley Blake's low volume um, collection I have pre-cuts of that in my shop if you're interested in picking that up but this is called Sweet Spools and it is my uh, fabric that I used for that. And the spools are close in colors to the fabric I'm using for the actual blocks. Um, so I'm really excited with how that's coming out. So my block was first. This is the cottage garden block. All these blocks are 10 and a half inches unfinished so that they can be used in lots of projects. Even if you're not sewing along, I highly recommend you go download them. Um, so my block is cottage garden. And then the second week was a block by Jill, Jill Finley, and I'm not gonna remember all the names of these, <laughs> but I do know this one was designed by Jill Finley, and I really love the kind of starbursty effect of this one. Um, and then, oh, let's see, Lisa says she's, um, <laughs> Helen said she's seeing a song theme here, Daisy a Day, Walking in Sunshine. Yes, I tend to name my things after old songs, or even new songs, but. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Naming things is hard, y'all. Okay, this is Christopher Thompson's block, Threaded, and it is a really fun block. Like, this star inside the spool is just so cute, you guys. And then Jennifer Long's block, Tiptoe Through the Tulips. Look at this tulip block. I love this block. It's super fat and fun. <laughs> and, you know, you just have to go through slow in this section up here with the the piece half square triangles but it goes together really nicely and it's a gorgeous tulip block like a whole quilt of these or like a runner or a bench pillow made up of tulips and different fabrics I'm telling you that just would be so fun any more hours in the day y'all <laughs> that would be ideal if someone could make that happen that would be perfect so anyway um so Lisa says she's working on the tiptoe through the tulips right now. Which fabric did you use for the stem of the flower? Oh, you're using Dainty Daisy too, Lisa, yay! So this is the Alpine, um, and I used that for the base of the flower, and then I kept, on the pattern it shows the leaves two different colors, but I just wanted kind of just two bold leaves, so I kept my leaves the same. I did piece them, but they are the same fabric, and then the stems, all the Alpine um, Dainty Daisy. So, hope that helps. <laughs> Yay, I can't wait to see yours, Lisa. Dawn says she loves the blocks. She might need to do this too. She needs more time to quilt too. I know, right? There's just not enough time. So anyway, tomorrow's block is designed by Amanda Niederhauser of Jedi Craft Girl. It's a very cute block, very fun. So um, make sure you check that out. And I've got those all on my blog and um, ready to go. So... You can get the free patterns for all of those and then I'll have tomorrow's up live. Um, our, all the patterns go up at 10 p.m. Mountain, which is 11 p.m. Central. I always have a hard time figuring out the difference in those, the time changes and things, but I'm pretty sure it's 11 p.m. Central for those. So they have them come up just a little bit later in the day. They're really pretty though. So we're gonna have some busy times here this week. Um, this will be uh, really fun. And then I also have a free last minute Valentine's project for you guys on Thursday. I'll show you the finished product next week, but it's gonna be a really fun pillow and it's super fast to put together and really cute. So, um, <laughs> so I can't wait for you guys to see that. Uh, Rhonda asked if I will be carrying Dainty Daisy in my shop. Rhonda, I would like, I'm going to have pre, like uh, fat quarters in my shop. It doesn't come in pre-cuts right now, but I am going to cut fat quarters here. I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. I don't have the time to cut yardage or the space to hold all the bolts for that, but I will have um, fat quarter pre-cuts in the shop. You can also get fat quarters cut at, or you can get them in fat quarter form at fat quarter shop as well, in addition to just regular yardage cuts. So, um, so let's talk about giveaways. Uh, we haven't had a giveaway in so long because we haven't had videos in so long. That's very sad, don't you think? So sad. <laughs> okay, so my videos are really easy and fun. Um, every week we'll have a video, every week we'll have a video, and every week we'll have a giveaway, and, it's going to be great. 
Um, all you have to do to enter is leave a comment on the video and you can do that live or you can do it during the week as long as you do it before next the following video which is on Mondays or Wednesdays if you're in our other um, so long and uh, you can do that on YouTube or Facebook whatever works for you and your comment counts as your entry and then you'll need to check the following week and see if you want because it's really hard for me to track people down. So I always announce the winner in the video. So if you're unsure if you've won, check the next week's video and see. So to get you guys going on this one, I have a Country Daisies quilt pattern for you. Though it won't come out, it won't get in the mail until after next week. So if you're gonna sew along, you might want to um, pick it up this week. And if you already have the Country Daisies quilt pattern and you when you can pick any one of my other patterns. I have the cute camper pins for you guys. These are so fun. They're 60 pins. They're one and three quarters of an inch long. So they're really great. And just, I don't know, it's more fun to sew with cute pins, I feel like. <laughs> and then I have a back quarter bundle of daisy fields for you guys. So this is all of the prints in Daisy Fields, one fat quarter of each, and you can make up this quilt with this or you can do whatever you would like with it. Um, so that is this week's giveaway. Again, just leave a comment on the video and that counts as your entryway and I'll announce the winner next week. And let's see, I think that's everything you guys. Um, if you are going to sew along with us for the mini quilts, um, make sure you come by Wednesday night. We will be kicking that one off. So again, a little bit of a shorter video. No sewing that week. We'll just be talking about what you need um, and uh, the book and all that kind of stuff. And then we will um, be sewing as well. So next week we're going to start block one. It is a Big, the blocks in this quilt are nice and big, so it feels like there's a lot to do, but there's really not that much. They go together really quickly because they're so big. It makes it a little bit easier since you're not working with super tiny pieces. So we'll start with block one next week, and I can't wait to sew this up. If you are sewing along with us, please share photos of your fabrics that you're going to use and let us know that you're going to be sewing along. We can't wait to see who all's going to join in with us. So. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really have missed hanging out with you. It's so fun to be back. I can't wait to make up this quilt with you guys. We're going to have a blast. If you ever have any questions, please email me, Bev, at FlamingoToes.com, or you can leave a comment here. I do um, do my best to make sure that I can um, try and keep up with them all. So super excited to sew with you guys. Thank you, thank you so much. I will see you guys next Monday and we will be sewing. So have a great week, everybody. Thanks.